That's a no. That's a definite no. I'm not going to get it if it's not perfect. I don't want to wear it every single day. So. What do we think? Wow, another one. <laughs> I knew you were this good at gift giving. <laughs> I didn't either. Hi, friends. Good morning. How are you? Vlogmas day 14 out of 17. Wow. Um, I just woke up. It was so hard to wake up. Today, Papa Jancy's coming in town. I'm gonna help him do some of his Christmas shopping, which means we're going to the big, nice mall in Austin called The Domain. They have every store you could ever think of, like even cool, random little ones. Then Jacqueline and Mark are gonna meet us up there after they get off work, and we're gonna do dinner. I'm double layering sunscreen today. I don't know what is with me. I'm gonna go a little early, because my dad's not gonna get in until like late afternoon, early evening. And I am going to do the last little bit of Christmas shopping, also just walk around because it's fun. And I've told y'all I'm finally admitting to myself that I need pants that fit me. All the pants that like kind of fit me are so uncomfortable and I have too many things that don't actually work. And especially with Nomad Life, I changed my plan yesterday, put a lot of stuff back in storage. I'm gonna find one pair of um, like medium wash denim with no rips and the other one i want to try to find is like a dark like charcoal gray or black relaxed leg or wide leg pant one thought i had yesterday that i wanted to share with y'all is i feel like i fulfilled a craving yesterday that i've had for so long and that is hanging out as a group I recognize that being back in Austin for this last year has been an interesting mix of community for me because it is like close to my hometown. I went to college here for a hot second. So I have high school friends here. I have college friends here. I have childhood friends here. I have a lot of random groups of community here to the point to where my community is incredibly disjointed which is not a bad thing. It's just whenever I hang out with any of those people, it's normally one-on-one -on -one because they don't know the other people. I could introduce them to the other people and like make more of a group, but um, hanging out one-on-one -on -one for me is a different type of fulfilling than hanging out with a group. It is like lower pressure to hang out in a group because you're not carrying the conversation and it's more of just like bonding time together, just like existing. I know part of the reason is like, I have kind of been like back to church hopping a little bit. I've stopped filming on Sunday, so y'all don't really, aren't really fully up to date on my, my church thing, but the church I was going to for the last year, I decided to keep looking. All the social things tended to revolve around like sports and drinking, which are two things that are just not me. I'm looking for a more creative community, a more like chill, let's go to a coffee shop, let's take a walk or a picnic type of community. Anyways, all that to say. It was really nice to hang out with a group of girls last night. My soul feels like it ate a meal that it's been craving. Those are my random get ready with me thoughts this morning. Jordy and I try to have coffee time together every morning, just like, you know, 30 minutes or so, drink our coffee together, kind of say hello, good morning. Um, it's been helpful for me to not like jump straight into work, I say as I'm filming, but like I don't open my computer till after coffee time. That's been helpful. Um, and then I have therapy at 10. So that will wrap at around 11. Then I'm considering fitting in a little non-sweat workout, like maybe take Max for a walk and maybe do a little bit of weight, weighted type stuff. I don't know, we'll feel that out if that happens or not. And then head on to the mall. That's kind of what I'm thinking for the day. Gonna make my favorite way to eat my magic spoon, which is you take the cereal and you add slices of banana. <laughs> oh, sorry. And then you add spoonful of nut butter and then some honey and you mix it all around and it's like a delicious little granola protein cereal type bowl <laughs> oh milk too of course okay gotta give max some tlc before leaving him <laughs> you're so sweet i was gonna say that whenever i put on uh, my shoes like while I'm talking to the camera, I feel like I do it all the time. I get comments being like, that's so Mr. Rogers of you. You remind me of Mr. Rogers when he like, excuse me. When I first started dating Jordy, actually maybe even before our first date when we were just like messaging, 
he was like, the most life-changing documentary to me was the Mr. Rogers documentary. And he's like, I wanna basically, you know, live like he lived. And so I watched the Mr. Rogers documentary. I, and I just think of, I think of that documentary and that realization every time I put on my shoes. And thank you to those of you who have commented that over the years on your own with that same realization. Okay, we're gonna take a walk. Ready? You ready? Are you ready? Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Yes. Yes, let's go do it. <laughs> A little bit later, worked out, refreshed myself, got dressed for the day, and I'm about to drive to the domain. I'm wearing my scratchy rental cardigan because it's just so cute and I really love it and I'm just gonna put up with the discomfort of the way it feels. I said I was only gonna wear this with a long sleeve shirt, but it's like a little warm today. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wear it and see how I do. Um, also made myself a latte and my new favorite mug. If you know, you know, this was a sweet gift. And, um, oh, one last update before we head out. I think this ear is getting infected, this piercing. It's officially red and like feels pretty like swollen. Trying not to touch the piercing, but we'll see. There's another studs location at this mall and they do checkups. So maybe I'll go see if they can just look at it real quick, but I'm feeling cute. I'm excited to go find some jeans that fit. Let's go. Okay, Jean Hunt stop number one. I'm at Madewell because I feel like this is the least likely, so I want to like rule it out first. But I do really like the wash of these. This is the perfect vintage straight jean. And last time I sized down one, and they just stretched out so much throughout the day. So I want to try sizing down two and see how this fits. I can't tell what the length will be. Sometimes jeans run a little short on me. So let's just give it a shot. Okay, they're better than I thought, but they're not perfect and we're not getting anything if it's not absolutely perfect. Here's what these look like on me. They're still, I feel like they're just not made for curvy girls because they're still like us, us pear-shaped girls. We need the room and then we need it to like kind of taper in here. And there's still a little room there to where I feel like I would want to wear a belt. I wish the rise was slightly higher and I wish the length was slightly longer. They're like a little bit, what do you call it, high water? Still not gonna get it if it's not perfect and I don't wanna wear it every single day, so. Okay, we're gonna try two different styles at Levi's. The um, employee here was very helpful. First, we are going to try, this is the rib cage straight ankle. The only thing is these look more cropped and I can only find them in the 27 length. I think I would want the longer length and I can ask if they have it, but I'm gonna try it on in a couple sizes and just see how the fit works. But I can tell that these are probably gonna be short on me. So let's try. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah also that's a no that's a definite no okay next i'm trying the um 70s high slim straight and the 29 length so this length is better um and one size up from the last one but this is the thing is it finally fits over my hips but that's just too much space, you know? This is the struggle. This is the this is the pear-shaped struggle. So hard to find jeans that you don't have to wear a belt with. I'm trying the first pair of the rib cage in a size up just to do the research for my fellow pear girlies. And though it looks great from the front, like if I got it in the correct length, it still is that same, that same issue in the back. So I think that Levi's are really just made for like more athletic, more straight, more of like proportional, silhouettes than us pair girls so as as Jordy always says about anything that's a fail he goes it was a fact-finding mission we found facts <laughs> which is a good way to reframe a fail I 
forget that there's no dressing rooms, I mean, no um, mirrors in the dressing rooms here. But we're starting off with the Citizens of Humanity in the nun trouser. And I'll show you a shot in the mirror. I feel like the rise is good. I sized down two of these, but the leg is just too, too wide for me. Okay, next we're trying the uh, goldy vintage high-rise flare. These are way too tight in the thighs and way too loose on the waist again. And then these I got in my normal size, 25. Just for reference, the last ones were 23, these were 25. This is why sizes, sizes aren't real. They vary so much brand to brand. Okay, next we're gonna try the uh, goldy 90s pinch waist jean, which the sound of pinch waist is promising, but they don't have my size. So I'm gonna try it in this one. But to me, a goldie runs, I, like I have to size up usually. Um, so maybe this one has a shot. I do love the wash, so good contender, let's see. Okay, I'll show you a mere shot of these, but I feel like these would have potential in a size down, but still they're starting to get a little tight on the thigh. So like, probably not worth trying to find them. I'm ending off the day trying some trousers for fun here. Um, and I really like these. They fit in the waist, but the pleats are pulling on my hips. So I don't, I think it looks like they're too tight on me, even though they like feel very comfortable. So I think that these are all flops. The lady at Aritzia, she's like, I shouldn't tell you this, but you should try on Good American, which doesn't like Khloe Kardashian own it or is affiliated with it. I don't know, I've never tried on their jeans. And I looked it up and I think Nordstrom carries it sometimes. And there is a Nordstrom here. So I'll go see if this location has any. Maybe that's the key. Okay, I'm at Nordstrom and I'm feeling pretty confident because look at all these options I got. These are good American. So I'm gonna start with these. Um, don't know if they run true to size or not at all. I think that these are different cuts. We'll find out. And then I also grabbed some Dad Top Shop and some other brands that I'm not aware of, but we're gonna try these first. First pair, closest to fitting all day, but they're like a mid rise. I thought they were high rise. So they're very comfortable, super nice. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, so far these are closest, but I need to see if they have a different size. These are Top Shop Dad Jeans. I like the cut of them. And I feel like there's enough room to where I could size down maybe, if they have it. Okay, we found the closest one yet. The sweet employee just brought me these. These are the Paxson Dad Jean, and they're a lot more reasonably priced than the others. And I do like it. There's a little bit of space, but less than usual. So I'm gonna hold on to it as a contender. What, what do we think about the wash? I love the rise. I love the leg. They're not too short. It's a contender. These are the BP Stretch high rise wide leg. Okay, the jean hunt was successful. I got both of those pairs and the total was $58 for both of them. These that fit really well were on sale for $19. I don't love the wash. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I just ordered this for $6. It's like a black garment dye and I'm gonna see if I can dye these a little bit of a darker wash since the fit is so good but this BP brand is technically their juniors brand but so they're way more affordable um, and then these from Paxson and I feel like I got everything I wanted a, a dark wash and a um, like medium denim color without any rips without any raw edge hem so it's perfect Look who I found. Oh no. I think I start off every vlog with you and mom saying, look who I found. <laughs> but what are we doing, dad? We are going to be looking for some Christmas gifts, primarily stocking stuffers and one big present. I'm not gonna vlog the big present for in case. Madre, because I've got no confidence whatsoever <laughs> in buying anything from Madre. Well, no, you do a really good job. It's just, Jacqueline and I love to shop. So we love any opportunity to help you because it's like shopping, but with your money <laughs> well, and not for us. <laughs> that's great because I got zero confidence <laughs> at all. The first gift is the big main gift and I'm not going to vlog that because I don't fully trust mom to not watch this video. Okay, cool. And mother, do not watch this video because we will be vlogging your stocking stuffers. <laughs> also, our family really does up stocking stuffers. Like they're like little gifts and we wrap every single one. I don't think most people do that. Yep. I think most people are like, here's fruit and candy. 
but it, we it's an absolute pain but it makes for a fun christmas morning. and we go around in a circle and open them one at a one time by one. so stockings take like two hours yeah, it's, it's really fun out of control but <laughs> i that, love it that's the family family deal it's the tradition i'll be yep. doing it with my kids i insist Real. yeah okay. that's a tradition i'm okay. carrying on I like it. Taking Chris to the land of anthropology, they used to have so many little things together, but they look like they've really spread it out this year, so they make you walk all around for it. Which I is come in this place like once a year, and it's usually the month of December. stocking stuffers. Yeah. I'm going to tell you things that I would love as a stocking stuffer, and then you can either pick up or pass. Okay. Silk hair ties. Done. Okay, pick up. Fuzzy socks. Why not? Why not? These are pretty long, but they're, those are pretty cute. Do you think those should like long fuzzy socks? There's more socks over here too. Okay. We can go check these yeah. over here. Here's the thing, I don't know if you want two hair accessories, but these are incredibly trendy and cool. You know, if you think she'll like it, I like it. I'll help her I'll help her learn how to clip it. Okay, but and, and tell her that it's cool. I'll tell her that it's cool. If I tell her it's cool, she, she won't, won't believe, believe it. No. <laughs> Mom loves skincare. Okay, this I love this. She might like this. It's SPF 50 and it's um, like body oil. So when she's playing tennis. She won't get the sun exposure, and she'll look like a glowing goddess. Okay. Is it too big it. for a stocking? No. Okay. These shower fizzies, you like put them in the shower, and they make your shower smell really good. Twinkle tree. Okay. Would, would you like your shower to smell like a twinkle tree? Twinkle tree. tree. <laughs> <laughs> On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a shower fizzy that smells like a twinkle tree. <laughs> What are they doing, man? They are engraving uh, Carolyn's name on a bag that I got free or, of charge. No, on a perfume. On, well, oh, is it on? I thought it was on the bag. Itself. I think that's the perfume. Oh, is it on the perfume? On the bottle. Oh, okay. I okay, got look it. Look at it. Yeah. Pretty fancy. That is beautiful. I feel like I feel like it's classy with just her name. All right, you got it. It's really cool. I knew you were this good at gift giving. <laughs> I didn't either. Yeah, <laughs> good job. You lucked into that I'm, one. You know what? You're hired from now on. That wasn't me. You, you are a permanent hire. <laughs> wow. Go. So, Dad, I got a question for you. Yeah. Now that they've wrapped it like that, that can't fit in a stocking. No. Are you just, just going to give it as a gift? What do you think I should do? I mean, that's so beautiful. I don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to give it as a gift. You're going to give it as a gift? Yeah. I like it. Well, then yeah. let's go get more stocking stuff. Because, right? yeah. Uh, and yeah, we, I can just get, you know, I can get some of that really cheap stuff like candy and all that. Candy is fillers. Yeah. He wants to get her earrings, so we're going to go to Just Madewell as the last stop. They also sometimes have cute like card games and stuff, which I feel like we're such a game family. That could be a fun thing. Um, but yeah, I think just, you know, one or two last little things yeah. and then it's an awesome stocking. Look at, wait, thumbnail. <laughs> I hope that footage was left in for the thumbnails too. Uh... <laughs> So I don't know what she has in terms of earrings, but I feel like these are really pretty. I also feel like these are really pretty and unique. They have like a pearl in the front and like a little dangly chain. Mm -hmm. What do you think looks more like her? You know, I haven't seen her wear anything like this. I know she has a lot of hoops, but these are both different. I kind of think that that actually may look a little more like her anyway. This? Yeah. Perfect. There you go. And we can see if there's any other little thing. Okay. Like they always have like cute little games and stuff. Like let's see what's down here. What is that? Oh, it's a weaving kit. Okay. These I think are just cards. Charades. It's kind of fun. Mom recently got these earphones and so I feel like a little case is a cute little thing. She can put it on her keychain or whatever. You like that? I just found a quilted bucket hat. Okay. Is it? Not for mom. Okay, good. <laughs> that doesn't look like her. I kind of want it for me. Wait, I think, okay. I think you ought to do it. Let me try this on non sarcastically. Okay. 20 bucks? Do it. For a quilted bucket hat? Yeah. Is that ridiculous? No, I think it's cool. Okay, I'll get a quilted yeah. bucket hat. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> hey. Hey, I think people have missed you. Oh, that's sweet. Guess how much I just got this bucket hat for? I just told you, but guess. I can guess. It's $10. I got it for $10. It was sale on sale on sale. Don't worry. It was 10 bucks. Sweet. <laughs> would, would I embarrass you if I wore this into a nice Italian restaurant for dinner? I'm, I think the camera is more... Uh, more I embarrassing? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, she's shopping for her Christmas work party. You don't like it? I mean, if you don't love it, then it's not a yes, you know? And a crunch. Yeah. What do you think about this one? You already have 
You don't one. like this one? You already have one. This one's on sale. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I'll put it back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like I've never had it. Cause it's snowing somewhere Christmas Eve. On my shoulder, fast asleep. Just like snow, I'm falling, I'm falling for. Drove to the suburbs with our Christmas lists Waiting for parking, you gave me a kiss